Hey, beautiful people. How are ya? I wasn't already. I'm almost about to choke. Oh my God. You cannot breathe, talk, and swallow water at the same time. All right, note it. <laughs> Hi. I hope everybody's doing well. Bobby, chilling, doing your thing today. All right, Leo. Let's get into this thing. Let's see what's happening with the tribe. All right, keep in mind that these are going to be general messages. Uh, they're not going to resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest. All right, feel free to check the other signs in your chart when I get around to them, okay? And, uh, yeah, if you like how I get on with my readings, please hit the like button for your girl, okay? And for those of you that have been booking with me, thank you. I greatly appreciate you. All right, let's see what's happening. What's the vibe for Leo? And happy birthday, you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Looking good, smelling good, doing your thing. All right, so Leo, subtle cues may tell you what someone's words are not, okay? So pay attention to, um, I don't know about y'all. A lot of times I don't say nothing, but I pay attention to a lot of things, you know what I mean? So just pay attention to, you know, actions versus words and, you know, um, just being honest with yourself, the vibes that you're feeling from someone. If you're feeling something that's a little bit off, believe it, okay? And uh, ask Source to reveal it to you, and it will. All right, so be careful of compromising yourself just to be connected to someone. You are never alone, okay? So... Oh, Leo, 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 I know, I know. Sometimes you just want some people around you, but baby, sometimes people want you around because you are you have that energy and you're willing to go above and beyond, okay? So you got to be mindful of uh, over overdoing yourself, over giving yourself, over extending yourself, over pouring out of your cup. And depleting yourself just to have someone around, okay? Um, a lot of times I'll say, you know, if you go into a situation, one of the best things to do is to actually, you know, if you're kind of confused, you put somebody that you love in that situation and really examine it. And what would you tell them to do? Most of the times we don't take our own advice and it's sad. And the reason why I say that analogy is because... A lot of times we put more value on the people that are around us, our loved ones, our love interests, even sometimes our jobs. You understand what I'm saying? You will put more energy into protecting and providing for outside people than you would yourself. You understand? So that's why I use that analogy. But sweetheart, what you really need to do is put yourself in this situation because you love yourself that much. Okay. And uh, look at the situation enough, you know, and see if it's healthy for you and see if you should get out of it. You understand? So there's that. So just take another stance on how I view that statement when I say it, okay? All right. So pay attention to someone's words and actions, all right? And uh, be careful of overcompromising yourself just to be in a relationship near someone um, and that could be any kind of relationship here, sweetheart. Um, love relationship, friendship, relationships with your children, uh, your job, and things like that. Whatever it is. If you're depleting yourself, sweetheart, um, <laughs> you pretty much just wiping yourself off of the chalkboard to make room for everybody else. You understand? So take a stance and take care of yourself. All right, so let's see. What messages do we have for the video? I don't know who needed to hear that. Mm. <laughs> All right, and be careful what you speak, honey, because your words hold weight. You will manifest what you speak. So speak life, <laughs> power, you know what I'm saying? Love into your life, peace. All right, let's see. All right, and we have spiritual bath. Something is lowering your vibration. Time to cleanse. Could be your circle here for some of you. Abundance and gifts. You'll be receiving what you manifested soon. Okay, so like I said here, sweetheart, 
you speak abundance, wealth, health over your life here, okay? And if there's some addictions here that you are dealing with, work on it, okay? Work on it, work through it. Work past it, okay? You will get through this. All right, and then check this out. You see that little red card that's sticking up there? That's the scorpion and snake energy. That is telling you to be careful of the scorpion and snake energy around you, okay? So whatever it is that you are manifesting here, possibly that energy is, it sees this abundance, this wealth, this peace that you have in your life and it's coming in to disrupt it, okay? Whatever this is that is your weakness, uh, the chink in your fence, you know what I'm saying? Where uh, you may have weak boundaries here. These people are possibly going to try to attack you in that area or use whatever it is that is closest to you, okay? So you need to kind of check that out and figure out what your triggers are here as well. And if you're overindulging in something, you need to kind of readdress that. Maybe it's time to kind of detox a lot of things here as well. Some of you may be worrying, concerned too much, doing too much for someone, running to the rescue all the time, putting on your super suit and your cape, dun -dun -dun -dun, showing up on the scene. Well, sweetheart, sometimes you need to delegate to other people, allow them to, you know, handle some of their own situations, especially if you are being depleted at this time, okay? Because the thing is, is that people see you and they know you for going, going, giving, 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 knowing, giving, 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 caring, forgiving, and forgiving, and forgiving, and okay, it's okay. But then when you hit your rock bottom and you have nothing to give, that's when the enemy comes against you the most, Okay. What, what do you mean I can't have? What do you mean you're tired? What do you mean you're not giving anymore? What do you mean you just, you know, shut the door to everybody? What do you mean? You understand? So, sweetheart, take care of yourself here. All right. And whatever it is that's lowering your vibrations here, if there's things that are triggering you that are sending you into other vices here, then you need to work on that. Another thing that happens here, too, that I notice is that sometimes... People are actually triggered by certain things uh, that you may do, say, or whatever. Instead of addressing that situation or the abuser or, you know, that trauma, maybe going to counseling, therapy, psychiatrist or something like that, I don't know, talking to that person or whatever, resolving that issue, what they will do is sometimes they will pick up other habits, drinking, smoking, eating, whatever, or they will find someone that is like the person that they want to address. And instead of addressing the person that hurt them, caused them trauma, they will find somebody else to lash out at. Okay. So sometimes you have to look at certain people and you wonder why they're coming at you certain ways or things like that. Sometimes that may be the issue, sweetheart. The issue is not you, it's, it's them, okay? But we have to be mindful of things like that within ourselves as well, okay? What is triggering you, okay? So there's that, all right? And it says overindulgence and addiction in too deep moderation is key. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Like me, I like coffee and I have to quit. So there's that. Oh my God, I just said quick coffee. Oh, that hurt. I felt that in my soul. Okay, so anyway, let's move forward. All right, so we got some abundance and gifts coming, but we just need to clear our energy here of all this negativity. Sometimes you may need to drop back off of the scene, go in, do some shadow work here. You know, um, especially if you're one to spend time with Source, you know, um, Go out, get, you know, get grounded, not afraid to just back the hell up off of people and do your own thing for a minute. All right, and getting some clarity. I do apologize because my window is open and my dogs may start barking at this other dog. All right, and then also, like it says, uh, pay attention to the words and actions of others. Not in that card here, but I'm telling you that. Uh, truth revealed here. What was once hidden is now being revealed. Embrace your shadow work. Your shadow self. I'm sorry. Mm. The only way out is in. Look at this. Okay. 
Everything happens for a reason. All right, give me messages, please, and thank you. All right, Divine Masculine. Action, will, courage, and strength. Communication, messages, information, research, and guidance. Let's see. Well, you're definitely taking action here. All right, I'm going to put it to you like this. Um, absolutely. Divine time. And look at this. We got a lot of divine energy here. I love it. Expectation, stillness, time, detachment, letting go, spending time with source, <laughs> manifesting, all right, in prayer, solitude, getting grounded, all right, standing in your power here, learning, expanding, look at this, someone's going through an awakening here, going through shadow work here, re-examining, readjusting, getting information guidance from source which is funny is because this is the first time well the second time i'm doing this reading but i used the other oracles first and that was spiritual guidance spiritual communication and we have communication here everything is happening in divine timing so someone here is really you're entering it oh you want to know why you are literally facing so much adversity right now now thank you that's why. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so you are receiving guidance from source, stepping into your highest power, all right? Everything happens in divine timing, okay? You know what? Check this out. Don't trip because right about now, you know, you're, you're precious. Source has kept you, you know, protected, put you under a little bit of pressure, right, over time. But what was, how do you cultivate a diamond? You understand what I'm saying? You you got to put that coal under some pressure. You got to kind of work it a little bit, okay? You give it a breathing room, let it kind of form a little bit, and now you're getting ready to come through a breakthrough, all right? Stepping into your power. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, okay. Confirmation. A diamond is being made, sweetheart, okay? So, yeah, just, just go with it. Lean with it, rock with it, roll with it. Do whatever it is that you need to do here to get through it, okay? It is what it is. Everything is happening with, in divine timing here. Pay attention to your dreams. Yes, look, okay. Source may be giving you some downloads here as well. Check this out. We have dreams here in this deck that I'm getting ready to use. Communication. And I was just talking about stepping into your highest power here. Our divine masculine energy. All right. And then we have your dreams here. All right. Make sure that you're getting a lot of sleep. And you're restoring that energy here. Because you may have people that are trying to come in and drain you here too. Because they see where you're going here, sweetheart. Look at this. Look at this. And it's crazy because whoo, that's wild. That's wild. And it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine here as well. Some of you are really, or I should say some of us are studying and things like that. Uh, really reading up on certain things and you're getting ready to step into your highest power here. That's what's happening. That's why all this adversity is coming and that dark one sees this as well. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. It is wild for me because I was just gifted like five different books. One of the books that I have been looking at online for about I want to say about about a month and a half, right? Why my son just popped up and give it to me for, for my birthday. And wow, wig blown back. I was like, well, I never mentioned it or anything. You want to talk about manifesting? Okay, so manifest quietly, okay? Just know that certain things are coming, coming through. All right, put that energy out there. Hey, hey. No. Mm. Yeah, there's that. Okay, so pay attention to your dreams. Downloads and messages here. You have the unconditional love and support that you need. People that love you, they show up for you. All right, like I said, my day ones, I know who my day ones are. All right, just make sure that you're getting enough rest, okay? We have to start incorporating more water instead of coffee. Oh my God. 
Okay, but no, seriously, water, uh, staying hydrated and things like that has a lot to do with your divinity as well. So for those of you that are into that, mind, body, spirit, you understand we have to keep our body in balance here as well. All right, so and express yourself as well too. So I really like this for you, Leo. This is really nice. Um, I hope you guys are getting where I'm coming from, but can't really elaborate too much. But yeah, you're on the right track, baby. You're about to reap some harvest. Persevere, and we're moving. Look, look, everything is happening in divine timing. Oh my God! Look, Leo, we planting seeds out here, right? right and what do i always talk about get your nest right baby get those thorns get those thorns out the way you got to make your nest comfortable for yourself before you start incorporating other people love okay before those blessings start coming through but eggs are what new beginnings fertility okay look you got a lot of things coming here for you i love it all right so get your nest right make it all comfortable and everything what that means work on your inner self okay your inner you be the best you that you can be. I'm just saying, focus on your goals. Stay dedicated. Work hard. Don't let anything take your eyes off of that vision, the eyes off of the prize. Do what it is that you love. And when it's not fun anymore, baby, find something else that brings your, you know, joy to your heart and keeps that smile on your face. And if you can, help some folks along the way, okay? You just got to be careful who you lend your hand out to their part. All right, so there's that. We have hard work. You're reaping the rewards. Have patience and persevere, okay? Accept what is. Uh, for some of you, it's kind of crazy because my uh, my friend, uh, she used to have these popsicle stick Popsicle. How do you mess, mess that up? Popsicle sticks. Uh, and she used to have all these affirmations and all this stuff on there. And no matter how many times... I would use all of those things <laughs> every time. The first one that would come out is the serenity prayer, okay? So accept the things that you, you know, that you have control over. And what you can't, what you don't have, you know, control over, sweetheart, accept that too, okay? And I know that that's not the serenity prayer, but that's the gist of it, okay? What you have control over. What you going to do about it? What you can, give it to God. And it's like, you know what? It is what it is. Okay? Keep it pushing. All right. There's that. All right. So, let's see what we got going on here. All right. We got a lot of manifestation energy here. All right. Acceptance, heart. We got love, romance, healing, support. So, some of you guys have uh, connections coming up. You manifest in here creation, prosperity. Okay, so some of you get ready to be prosperous because of your creations, all right, and your knowledge, your wisdom, your inner chi, your inner magic, your creativity, baby. Okay, so you do what you do out here. All right, out here in these streets. Manifest what it is that you like. What I like to say, you know what, my thing is, is this. How can I put this? Whatever it is that you are creative at, honey, you put your whole you into it, okay? Your authentic self. Because when you put your authentic self into it, it grows. It flourishes, sweetheart, okay? Your people gravitate to you because they see that you're not, there's no, no, what is that? No hose barred? Okay, flaws and all, baby. This is what it is. This is what you get. Like it, love it, lump it, or leave it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But show up as your authentic self because that's what works. It is what it is, okay? If uh, it hasn't, you need to work on yourself. I'm just saying. All right, so we have prosperity, money, abundance, mentality, rewards. Absolutely. Okay, look at that. One equals the other, okay? Look at this. Uh, your mentality reaps rewards and abundance okay so you got to walk it like you talk it here sweetheart and, and keep that mindset on you know what hey if i want it there's a way <clears throat> it may not be the conventional way but <laughs> there's, there's a way make shift happen okay look make a way out of no way i i gotta tell you there's there's things that you know many of us can actually do 
make a way out of no way. Hell, I had a soap and lotion business, you know what I'm saying? Doing tarot now. And then before that, I had a cookie house, you understand? So what is what is your authentic self? What do you love to do? What are you good at, baby? Okay, where can you show up? I can cook my ass off. You understand what I'm saying? Made money off of selling tamales and pies and things like that. You understand? So what is your gift, your talent? All right, find it. Manifest whatever it is that you want. Manifest a life with that, okay? And if you can, do it to where you don't have to work for nobody else. You can do it for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So there's that. Remember, you got beginnings coming. All right, persevere, keep moving, all right? Elevate, 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 be okay during this time. It's, it's kind of tumultuous, a lot of blue going on here. So, ooh, you know, um, a lot of releasing, a lot of emotional things here, a lot of letting go, a lot of goodbyes, but a whole bunch of hellos here, okay? Also, it might feel like it's a little stagnant. Damn. But if you think about it, what happens in the wintertime? Certain things go dormant, not everything. There are certain things that flourish in the cold, okay, in the winter. So with that being said, allow yourself to kind of slow down a little bit and take care of self. Center yourself. Remember not to overpour your cup into other people and deplete yourself for other person's uh, purposes here, sweetheart. You got to keep some of you here because if you don't, you'll leave here a little bit too soon, all right? So there is that. All right, moving on. Let's see. Sorry. I had a lot of bit of coffee this morning. I had water too. All right, let's see. I need more, but I'm drinking it. All right, let's see. All right, so we're learning and growing. Yes, what did I tell you? Uh, studying, learning, growing, centering yourself, getting grounded, okay? Bringing yourself into balance, okay? Getting all those questions answered that you wanted answered before. Well, God, how did this happen? Well, that didn't make sense, blah, 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 blah. Some of you are studying different religions and things like that. You understand? Some of them are kind of all connected. They have some similarities, okay? All right. Also, you might be listening to a lot of music here. Me, personally, I like to listen to certain frequencies. All right. And it's telling you to make a wish and keep going. All right. Some of you, your goals, dreams, desires are already coming, uh, coming true. Opening new doors for you here. You may be closing uh, old avenues and opening up new situations here as well. All right, create your own reality, baby. You got the dragonfly. Create, 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 flourish, transform, renew, and, and take off, okay? There is that. And then on top of that, have you ever noticed you only see dragonflies during a certain season? Hmm. There's a reason for that. And like I said, make a wish and growth. Look at this. That's why I was saying create, 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 make a wish and keep going. Okay, so whatever it is that you want, whatever that goal is that you are trying to achieve, sweetheart, it is right in front of you, all right? And I see you achieving bliss <laughs> along the way, only taking what's necessary, those lessons, the knowledge, all right? And like I said, some of these places you're going to travel alone, my love. You know, there's going to be people, places, and things you're going to say hi and goodbye to. It is what it is, unfortunately. All right? Spend some time out in nature. Some of you might be traveling here, too, as well, okay? Um, yeah, you might be spending time out with nature. Some of you might have a green thumb here. That is what you do. I love this. Spending time out with the trees and things like that. I don't know about y'all, but... I really have a thing for parks. <laughs> it is so funny. My kids make so much fun of me. It doesn't matter what city I'm in or state because I managed to find some in Texas too. But that is just my bliss, especially if you have a long walking path and there's a bunch of trees, just nature alone. But yeah, I really like this for you, Leo. This is really nice. You got a beautiful reading. All right, the elusive priestess. 
have patience. You won't be elusive for long, right? Like I said, someone here could be learning, studying, growing. All right. Someone here could be mastering a certain um, practice or something like that here. Oh, my God. But when it comes, <laughs> look at that new beginning. Leo, some of you are getting ready to really shock the socks off of some people. And, they, and you're not doing it for a wow factor. Like, oh, my God. You're doing it because this is who you are. This is your journey. This is your purpose. This is, okay, you've possibly always been inquisitive about certain things, even as a small child gravitating towards this way. So to me, it's just like you're finding your way back home. You possibly have been here before. Many lifetimes. You hear some of those old folks say, uh, this baby done been here before. They got old eyes. They got an old soul. Uh-huh. Exactly. All right then, Merlin. <laughs> you understand? Go back to what it is you used to do. Whatever it is that you used to do, okay? Uh, some of you could be craftsmen or some, whatever it is, you know, some of the smiths. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, whatever it is, your master, your craft, you are actually going in and literally practicing your craft and, and becoming its best. Or a cocooning, going through chrysalis, I might say. All right, so be patient. You have some new beginnings here that are definitely leading to some type of abundance. I think in all areas of your life, just like a pregnant woman here, you are definitely nurturing in your belly what it is that you are growing. Ooh. This reminds me, and I don't know why, but I'm I'm old school church, you know, uh, old Baptist back in the day. Um, but I remember a lot of times a pastor would pray over you and put his hand over your stomach, release it. Ooh, some of you guys putting your hand over your heart and your stomach, absolutely. Your chakras, I never tripped off of that. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, so check this out. Whatever this is, I'm sorry, y'all. Just mind blown. Mind freaking blown. Okay, first I tripped off of when I found out that there's crystals in the Bible. What? I had to look that up. Wait a minute, I need to read some more. Okay, check this out. Okay. My God. Okay, but check this out. All right, some of you are birthing new ideas. You're getting in alignment here. And whatever it is, you're nurturing it here. Just like a mother would, would nurture her child. All right, an unborn baby. At times, you know, you feel that baby move or you just want to connect with that child. You just hold it. You know what I'm saying? But someone here is really getting in alignment here. And you're releasing all these new ideas, all these opportunities. And look at this. Oh, my God. A lot of growth here. I'm sorry, you guys. I wish you could just see what I saw and just message. I'm just saying. You're open. You're receptive. You're allowing Source to use you. Oh, this connection here. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Okay, you guys. I don't care what adversity you're coming through or what's coming at you. Stay in alignment with Source. All right, look at that. <sighs> look at that opening, awakening here. Look at this. Uh -huh. And when you see, you can't unsee. Look at this. Share your gifts here, and this is what we're doing. All right, Leo, hold on tight, baby. Use your gifts for good. And know that you are getting ready to have a lot of adversity come towards you. You probably already do. All right. And know that your enemy is still, but not far away, just recoiling, okay? So, keep going. Continue to do what you're doing. Manifest what you're doing. All right, there's success coming here for you. And then, trip on top of that is telling you to share your gifts. Some of you are readers here as well. All right, uh, psychics, uh, clairs, or any of the clairs or anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, some of you could be in the pool pit, in the churches, wherever God needs you, you are showing up and it's telling you to share your gifts. Don't be stifled. Don't hold back. Cause right now, um, not being funny or anything, but 
<laughs> I don't know about y'all, but my internet is glitching over here. A lot of the people that I've been doing readings and stuff with is glitching. So, you know what? We need to get these messages out now while we got platforms, while we have connections with each other. Because it's getting ready to go back to old school. They keep messing around. Oh, what's, what I'm tripping off of over here is the number 33. For me, that's when ish gets real, okay? Life changing of uh, events here. Uh, definitely cycles closing out. New ones beginning here as, as well, okay? Old things being renewed. All right, so it says I'm expanding. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worthwhile. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. Okay, especially now. All right, Leo, do your thing, do your thing, okay? Go ahead, work hard, reap the harvest, all right? All right, so let's see. Give me some messages here for Leo. All right, so Leo, your angel number is 99 and that 33. All right, always keep that 33 in your head for me. I don't know, but <laughs> when I first saw that and it was like, whoa, okay, message. So... That may mean something to you, too. All right, so 99, it says it's time to get to work on, on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. That almost made me cry. Sorry. <sighs> mm. Okay. Number 22, I am aligned. Get in alignment. Aligning yourself with source. Okay. Need I say more? All right, so the number 22, I am aligned. You are in possession of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. Okay? Failure is not an option. Don't let your enemies and your stepping stones try to make you falter, fail, second guess it. Baby, it's ordained by source. All right? Keep yourself in alignment with God and keep it pushing. All right? You're being molded. You're being put under pressure for a minute, baby. You are a diamond in the rough. All right? So don't trip. <laughs> Success is imminent. Imminent. That's what they call it. Absolutely. Keep progression. Nothing but growth and expansion here. Okay, baby. You create your own reality. Where you open the door to, I'm just saying, you know, what you entertain, okay, who you hang around becomes your reality. That part right there. All right. So we want some questions that we want to ask ourselves. Good, bad, the ugly, everything in between. All right. So... Nurture. What ways can you nurture your inner child or your inner teen? Think about it. Ask that question. Figure it out. Give yourself what you need, okay? Little steps by little steps. We want to go in and nurture that baby that had that trauma here. Go in there, get that baby a hug. You know what? Go in there and say, you know what? I'm creating a safe space for us. Safe space for us to grow, to learn, to heal together, okay? I got you. You got me. You don't have to fight this battle anymore. I know what I need to do. If you don't know what you need to do, sweetheart, reach out to an elder, to someone that you know that loves you, that has your back, that has some sense, okay? Don't be talking to nobody that's got you. Yeah, we're going to pull up and show out. And uh, nah, uh, Baby, don't do that. That's not healing, okay? That's hindering your progress and possibly hurting you and somebody else. Keep it pushing. Heal. Close that door. Figure out what you need then, okay, and now, all right? And possibly for in the future, I'm just saying, okay? Make an action plan. All right, power. What does your living, or, I'm sorry, what does your living to your fullest potential and power look like to you, okay? What do you think that you need? Like I said, your future. What does your future look like to you? What do you need to achieve your goals to get there, okay? So there's that. <laughs> Somebody got some good content today. I'm just saying. All right, so let's see. All right, so the shadow side. All right, so let's see. Your perception. How do you think others see you? How would you like to be seen and why? Okay, and then also I'm going to add to that. And why do you care how other people see you? 
Okay? I'm just saying. And I'm not trying to be snarky or anything like that. I'm just asking you, why do you care so much about what other people uh, feel about you? Okay? Were you made to, like, bend to other people's will, people please? That's a problem. We need to address that. Okay? Ask yourself some things. All right? Another shadow question is uh, self-esteem. What is the relationship between your shadow self and your self-esteem? I'm just saying. Are you jealous? Do you lash out at other people? Are you envious? You know, do you look at what other people try to, what other people have and say, you know what, I could do that. I could do that better than them. And then you try it. You understand? I don't know. What is that? Do you not put yourself out there because of what other people think about you? Do you people please? Because if you don't, you feel that people won't like you. If they don't, oh, well, they just did you a favor. They don't like you in the first place. They like what you did. The services you provide. That thing you do. <laughs> you feel me? So we need to address these situations here, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me messages, please, and thank you for Leo. All right, and I'm not trying to be cruel or anything. All right, so it looks like, check this out. Like I said, a lot of us are going into hermit mode, learning. Look at this successfully okay <laughs> I, I'm just saying you know stepping it up a notch absolutely look at this this is some BS some of you or some of us actually are desperately moving on from the past here a bunch of drama and conflict here some of you got conflict coming from past people here too alright so let's see give me messages here please and thank you we're not having the BS all right, so <laughs> pretty much focused on something else. Moving on from this drama, ending off cycles here. Ain't nobody got time for this. All right, that part. All right, so like I said, ending cycles here. All right, look at this. You got communication coming in about an opportunity for a Ten of Pentacles. What? Nine of Cups here. Mm -mm. Can you give me messages, please, and thank you. Give me more messages. Look at this. All right, so check this out. Someone here is, I'm loving this energy. Someone here is definitely like, you know what? I, I, I really, there's something here. There's something missing I need to know. I need to acquire more knowledge. I need to step up my, my game a little bit. You understand? I feel a little bored on this plateau here. I'm like, you know what, okay, what, what else can I do to, you know, not only entertain myself, but enhance my knowledge in certain areas, in the areas of my interest here? Hmm. Because I'm giving out to work most of my day. If you have kids, you're giving out to that person. If you have a dude or, a, you know, a chick or whatever, you, you're giving out to that too. But what do I like? Hmm. This is my special interest, okay? And it's really crazy because sometimes you can want something, desire something, be into something, and you don't know that somebody sees you. Oh, my God, my God, my God. And it's funny, somebody said that to me yesterday too. You know, paying attention to you in ways that you you didn't really trip. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like, wow, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy, but a beautiful thing. Because sometimes it's the people that you expect to see you, to expect to show up for you and things like that. And it is somebody totally, totally to the side that is loving on you. You didn't have to ask. You didn't even mention it, say anything. My God, my God. You feel me? Look, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am, but I'm not. That's real talk. God sees you. You understand? It sees what's coming against you. Sees your efforts here. All right? Some of you, okay, like I said, I went off on a whole tangent, and I do apologize, but like I said, you are, you may have gotten to a place where, you know, it's kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm a little content here. I'm, I'm a little bored. All right. You know, us as a fire sign, we got to keep something going, creative, 
creativity just yeah okay the sparks is the synapses are synapsing right so i feel another project coming along okay so i'm lead, reading up on some things here and where i was lacking knowledge now i'm out of the cold mm. leo a lot of you are like that reading up on things all right taking classes doing things like that viewing life differently it doesn't necessarily mean that you're taking classes or anything like that Source may be mending you, molding you, bringing you around people that are doing what you want to do. And you may be expanding your knowledge like, man, whoo, that's a cold one right there. All right. So that just led me to go over here and do this. You feel me? So it is your season, Leo. Step into your season. Manifest what it is that you want because you're manifesting a lot at this time. Um, things are being restored. You're being rewarded. You're being protected. Uh, here because of, apparently you have a mission here whatever it is that you are studying up on master your craft sweetheart okay whatever it is uh whatever it is that you're doing stay on the light side <laughs> i'm just saying all right there's a lot of negative energy out there and trust me they don't need no help they out there doing exactly what they're supposed to do their job okay kill steal and destroy okay you already know that's the adversary that is not of god okay so if you're rolling that way yeah okay just kind of run run along that way uh we're we not vibing like that we got a lot of blessings and abundance coming into our life and i'm coming to claim everything going to give what god said i can have right and first of all we're going to go gather gather that knowledge here and things like that all right so stay in alignment y'all <sighs> I am, but I'm not. Like I said, sweetheart, you never know who's going to bless you, who sees you just out of the blue. You understand what I'm saying? That's crazy. And somebody ended up giving me something uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Out of the blue. And what's crazy, they put it in a bag that I never go in. You know what I mean? And... I just happened to take that bag with me and just happened to say, you know what, before I put this thing in the closet and never use it for another six months, let me look at it. I'm just saying, you never know who sees you, who wants to bless you. You understand? All right, so check this out. We're going to have faith. Oh, Lord. Move with determination, okay? Beware of thy enemies. Have patience and let things uh, do what they do. Leo, and when I said the adversary is here, look. Okay, you got some enemies here that are doing something in secret here. It's possibly spell work here with the Hierophant and the Devil. Uh, yeah, there's that. So you need to stay prayed up here. The Hierophant, the Devil, and Temperance. Look at this. And the Fool here. Six of Cups. This is somebody that you have a history with. Five of Wands. The moon, six of wands. Somebody is determined to win. Damn, five of swords. Okay, so you know what I just heard? And they have a worthy opponent. So, Leo. Oh, my God. See, I see why all this is going on. Why those spirit messages came out like this. Okay, so whatever it is that you're going through, persevere, sweetheart. Have patience. Something is growing here. Um, don't lose. Don't be faint of heart here, okay? Also, the truth is going to be revealed. It's coming out slow. Whoops. Whatever they, oh my God, whatever they meant for you is getting ready to get stopped in its tracks. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give me one more of this situation. Matter of fact, what is this? Tell me. This might not be the right one. This is about a relationship. Illuminate, revealing the truth. 
confession, shedding light. Yes, triggers, flashbacks, trauma bond, inner tired wounds, attracting toxic. So let's see. First of all, the truth is coming out about this situation here. Somebody may be trying to trigger you or you may be triggering somebody else. This is somebody in the present. Feeling the moment, becoming aware in the day and to now. Pursuit, chasing, persistent, hunting down, resilient. Okay, so you got somebody that is like, they've been doing this for a minute with temperance. Okay, so you got a damn demon here. Somebody's coming in under the guise of a playful connection here. But they're really the devil. Ascending, learning, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. Look at this. Okay, so. Leo. Oh, golly. Okay, so you are learning something here. And it looks like you see what this person is coming in with and what they want, what they're trying to do. A distraction here. Coming in under the playful guys, but with the intention of harmful destruct destruction. All right, so revealing confessions, the truth, shedding light. For some of you, this could be a past person. It could show up in your, your love life. We have moving, boxed up environmental changes, empty shell. Yeah, somebody here is going to try to find you. Or could try to sing you something here, and they're going to find that you don't live there anymore. All right, so, oh. You could also be dealing with somebody that has no empathy, someone that is a hollow shell, someone that may be detached and cold. This also may be something, oh, okay. Wow. You know, it's a trip is because there's certain people that I've dealt with that I felt that they were possibly very narcissistic. And one thing, damn, there's three people that I know in particular. And now adding a fourth to that. Um, when you're dealing with certain people, I call them shark eyes. Okay. Their eyes are like dead, reflective. There's no light in them. They're very dark, you know. Um, there's no joy, love, or peace in their eyes. But what you do see is disdain, uh, irritation. Um, how else? Uh, uh, oh, just just nasty, cynical in energy. You know what I'm saying? You can see a lot of lust. But empathy is no. They're, they're kind of dead eyes, like death. I don't know, but you could be dealing with somebody with this type of <laughs> type of energy. I'm sorry. I just heard uh, when I said death, there's a comedian or somebody. Uh, who is it, Cat Williams? Death. Making fun of, what's his face? I can't think of his name. E-40. Somebody's name could start with an E. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Somebody here could be 44 or 45. That's crazy. E40. E is the fifth number of the alphabet. I mean, fifth letter, fifth number. I don't know. Anywho. All right. So we have sabotage. <clears throat> Ruin a good thing. This is possibly what somebody comes in and wants to do to you. They may be gossiping about you here. Spreading rumors, petty conversations, smearing your image, making you look 
uh, making you the fool. This is their intentions here. You have something good going on and they want to come in and sabotage it. Okay. And these are people that are coming in acting like they like you. All right, this is a karmic. All right, here to teach you a lesson. You could be dealing with uh, a couple of people here, two people working together, or you could be dealing with somebody that has mental disorder, bipolar as well. This person also smiles in your face, but they really hate you. Uh, this person is possibly really envious of you as well. Dysfunctional, unhealthy relationship, toxic, unhealthy, poison, delusional, nasty behaviors. Look at this. Torn, confused about wants and needs. So this person may be trying to figure out how to come towards you, but not sure exactly how to come towards you. Someone here may try lust. This could be a past person. There is history, is happened, left behind. Look at looking back. Okay, so this is somebody here. Needing time, not the right time. Time will bring unexpected changes here. Somebody's trying to bring you a tower moment here, honey. Okay. And this is somebody, it has to do with somebody that you dealt with before. And remember, I said chasing, persistent, hunting down, resilient. This is a card that I saw. All right. Also here, this is okay. So you have uh, someone that is looking at you. You got a predator here. Mm. 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 You have a nocturnal predator here as a matter of fact here too. This person does their best work at night. <laughs> Deep in the night. Look at that. Okay, so let's see. All right, Pursuit. Got my eye on you. This is creepy. All right, y'all. So you got a weirdo here. It could be a female here. A delusional female here as well. Bipolar ass chick. This person could be... Uh, depressed, deranged, a little crazy, a little cray cray behind the scenes. Look at that. I was just going to say, look at the eyes here. All right, fantasy, pretending to be what you want here. Like I said, this person is pretending to be a friend, family, lover, whatever it is, a good co-worker, whatever. This person cannot stand you. Drama, creating problems, thirsty for attention, Overreacting, drama queen. Look at this. All right, muse. Inspired by you, listening to music, emotional bond, song, song or lyrics. Okay, so you may have shared music with this person, or they may listen to your genre to try to figure out what it is. Okay, this I swear. I don't know why, but for somebody here, I'm telling you, this is giving that that movie single white female vibes. Somebody cray right here. All right, somebody is using witch, uh, witchcraft against you as well. Someone is hexing. Uh, there's a spell of negativity here. So somebody here could be dibbling and dabbling and all kind of stuff here. You got a weirdo here. And like I said, I think it, it kind of seems like it's a couple of people here. I don't know. My dudes out here or even my chicks out here in the LGBTQ, you might want to be careful out here. You might have somebody that is burying your drawers in their backyard and, you know, and, and things like that. I don't know. Uh, somebody here is possibly envious over your pictures and shit, you know, doing, you got a weirdo here. Ain't no telling. So excuse my expression, but yeah, there's that. All right. So, uh. I don't think I want to pull those. And I'm not going to because, wow. All right, so just know you guys. <gasps> you got somebody that's crazy. I've never seen that uh, that movie with uh, Batman, the Joaquin uh, River Phoenix. No, not River Phoenix. He's passed. Joaquin Phoenix played in when he played the Joker. I've never seen that movie, so I don't know the character or anything, but I imagine this person, there's a scene in there where they put uh, a commercial with him walking down the stairs delusionally, <laughs> talking to himself. 
I kind of figure that this person is like this. This is this is somebody crazy. And then if you kind of look at this person's makeup in the mirror, don't it kind of remind you of that? Yeah, just just a little bit. All right, so Leo, it says, go for it now. The future is promised to no one. Absolutely. And that is by Mr. Wayne Dyer. Rest in peace. I really love his um, his uh, his work. Uh, great guy, great guy. All right, and then we have, she believed she could, so she did. Absolutely. And that is by R.S. Gray. All right, so Leo, get out here and do your thing. And that he, she, her, him turn it into whatever you believe you can so you will and you shall so do your thing do your thing do your thing all right now i've been here for a minute so let me give you a couple of these and then we're going to pull one from the african rising goddess and i'll let y'all go thank you so much for rocking with your channel i greatly appreciate y'all everything that y'all do the love the, the support everything the feedbacks y'all send it cash at paypal to support your girl uh showing up and, and showing out here waiting for me to post uh loyal <laughs> you understand i love that love that thank you for appreciating me and know that you are appreciated as well okay and uh yeah for those of y'all readers that rock with my channel rock with your girl that you know you've been doing your thing and your readings thank you i greatly appreciate y'all uh, y'all show up, show out, and do the damn thing. And I respect y'all madly, okay? And thank you guys for those that support those uh, people as well, okay? Mad love for you. All right, so check this out. We have, I made choices that lead to my highest good and honor my authentic self. What did I say about your authenticity, sweetheart, okay? Show up as yourself. Everybody is not going to like you. Everybody don't like chocolate or strawberry ice cream. You understand what I'm saying? So you pick your flavor and those that like you will show up, okay? And it says, I'm grounded in my own strength. Absolutely. You don't need anybody to support you, to sustain you, to be you, okay? There's that. You stand up, lead, be who you are. And like I said, those that genuinely love you will support you, okay? As who you are, your authentic self. You don't have to make yourself uh, morph into someone that you are not to get other people to like you, okay? And if you do, you need to check on that, okay? You with the wrong people. All right, and it says, I am grounded in my own strength. Look at this. I got two of these cards and only one of these decks. Wow. Okay, so, okay, message. Okay, check that out. All right, Leo, you stand in your own damn power, right? And that strength card is who is you, right? All right, and it says, I know best. I trust my inner wisdom. All right, you know what's good for you. You know how you work. You know how you need to, you know, express yourself in all these things here, okay? And the thing is, is that, you know what? I'm going to put it to you like this. Sometimes we have a problem trusting our intuition and we try to test it when we just need to go, you know what, source is like really telling me something about this situation. And I don't think I should mess with it. And I'm going to just give it a no. But instead, we're like, eh, no, I'm going to see. And what happens is you need to cut that off and leave it alone, okay? Trust your intuition, intuition, your inner wisdom here as well. You do know best, all right? And on top of that, everybody is not going to agree with your journey, how you do things, how you express things, and all these things like that. Baby, check this out. What may be good for you may not be so good for me. You understand what I'm saying? I feel you. I hear you. I respect you. But, yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to get out like that. You understand? that I'm, I'm going to roll like this. And we have to realize that one size does not fit all. It, it does not, okay? What may fit you perfectly may be a little too snug on your fluffy girl over here. I'm just saying, you understand? So there's that. Uh, give people the freedom to express themselves, you understand? And like I said, be okay with someone's decision having differences or having boundaries or whatever or being different, you know? Their lifestyle, their beliefs, their faith, whatever it is. Just because you don't like it, it ain't you. I wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't, and you didn't, okay? So there's that. So anywho, I don't mean to be a smart ass, but it is what it is. So I'm sorry. Sorry. I get a little sarcastic sometimes. But yeah, who can't? All right, so anything. 
things are balancing out here, sweetheart. And I'm going to put it to you like this. Do the inner work to, you know, bring balance and peace into your life, okay? And keep your structure flowing. And please know, look, like I said, follow your intuition, baby. Okay, follow your intuition because adversity is going to come. Stay connected to the most high. Keep yourself in balance. Try to try to remain fair. Okay, I know sometimes you want to go for the juggler, but baby, you don't have to. Uh, get source to really handle your lightweight, okay? You got somebody here that's trying to get in the ring as a boxer and don't know that the most high is MMA, okay? Like 100 degree black belt. I, I'm just saying. So show up to the battles that you need to and the ones that you don't, don't. Okay, let people fight with themselves. Shit. You elevate, elevate, elevate. And continue to learn, expand, grow. It's going to lead to success. Okay, and when it's time for you to come out, sweetheart, a loose priestess or priest, do your damn thing. Okay, but make sure that you are using your gifts for good and to bring peace. Okay. All right, my love, this is what I got for y'all. I'll holler at you later. Thank you for rocking with the channel. And if you would, hit that like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate it, okay? And Leo, y'all have a happy birthday, okay? Take care. Bye.